Welcome back, everybody. You know, the president uh, slamming Jeff Sessions over the handling of this whole surveillance abuse uh, probe here. And that's raised con concerns even within the Republican Party as to whether there's boomerangs on them uh, to former Bush 43 Deputy Chief of Staff Carl Rove. Carl, what do you make of this entire dust stuff? It's not the first time the president has, you know, publicly registered his concern. And, and sometimes it seems like contempt for the guy he picked for that job. Yeah. But um, I always wonder why Sessions stays in that job. But your thoughts? Well, I hope to God he stays in the job. Uh, the, the comment by the president that his behavior was, quote, disgraceful is like a, an attempt to force him out. But can, I hope to God he doesn't leave. Can you imagine what it would be like for the president to have a confirmation hearing over the next three or four or five months as we run up to the 2018 uh, elections? where the Democrats are grilling his nominee for attorney general as to if the president tells you to investigate somebody, will you do so? I mean, this would be ugly from top to bottom and a real problem. The president also made a huge mistake by attacking the independent uh, inspector general of the Department of Justice, saying, isn't he an Obama guy? Well, I would remind you, this is the, quote, Obama guy, appointed by President Obama, yes, but he's the guy who has been blowing the whistle on the activities of the Department of Justice in the Obama era and has done things like he's the guy who un uncovered the email messages between Peter Storzak and his, and his lover, Linda Page, and, and, and blew the whistle. So, and, and, and the fact that he called him Obama guy says it will leave the impression and give the Democrats the opportunity to claim that anybody outside of the inspector general who takes this up is a, quote, Trump guy, and that this is a partisan witch hunt. president made a big mistake by all this. You know, and he does it again and again. I know I hear from people, again. oh, Neil, you're a never Trump and all that. You know what I'm not, Carl? I'm, I'm just a never be a jerk of a human being. Because I think that kind of behavior gets in the way of a lot of the great ideas I think the president has, tax cuts that if given time, I think will have some measurable benefits to the economy. But then stuff like this, and yet this is the same yep. president who demands enormous loyalty out of everyone, but doesn't seem to show or give it back to his own cabinet. And if there are problems, I don't know how it worked in the Bush White House, how it worked in the Obama White House, how it worked in any White House, but normally if a president would have a problem with somebody, he would tell them directly or certainly get his right. chief of staff on it. Uh, this is done out in public, and I think, uh, Jeff Sessions, no matter what it's you think of him, yeah. it doesn't deserve this. No. And look, it's unseemly. And not only that, but step back. The first victim of ousting uh, Jeff Sessions as attorney general is going to be President Donald Trump, who will have to go through an ugly, ugly, ugly confirmation battle. Well, wouldn't for Rod his, Rosen his be the, in the interim? He'd be the acting director. And that that's not exactly yeah. a, you know, a, a campfire yeah. relationship. Right. Yeah. And look, one other thing I, I want to you had Brian Babin on, who's a friend of mine, Texas congressman. Uh, he, he made the point that he thought that Sessions should not have recused himself. Uh, I, I, Brian's a friend of mine. I don't mean to disagree. But in the 1980s, Congress overwhelmingly bipartisan majorities passed a law requiring the Justice Department to spell out the rules for recusal involving things like political activity. And, and, and for 30 some odd years, we've had on the books a rule for recusal that said if you played a role in a senior role, senior role in a presidential campaign, then you had to recuse yourself. Jeff Sessions was a senior advisor to Trump, first senator and only senator to endorse him before the nominee nomination. This rule was put in place because of the old Robert Kennedy being made attorney general by his by his brother, Jack Kennedy, and by the role that John Mitchell had played in the in the Nixon administration, Jeff Sessions, under those rules, had no ability to do anything no, but No, I agree. He had no choice but to do what he did. And it was the honorable right. thing to do, whatever people think of that relationship and his connections with all of this. But it's where we are now. And I always think yeah. about the human impact of these kind of things. And if I'm sitting on that cabinet, Carl, or I'm any prominent Republican, and he's done this, you know, with Mitch McConnell. He's done this with Speaker Paul Ryan. And that's fine. I know this is style. He's, abrupt. He's an unprecedented character in the White House. I get that. But I don't get just treating people like crap. I don't get humiliating human beings of any other party. It doesn't matter. Their own party, another party, people they like or don't like. That is not leadership. To me, that is demeaning. Well, it's childish. It makes a mockery of the office. It makes a mockery of the guy in that office. It makes a mockery of the supporters. It makes a mockery of everyone. He is demeaning the office acting that way. Yeah. 
Well, and look, it makes it difficult to attract good people. Who wants to put themselves in a place where that's how you get handled? So, again, if you step back, the first victim of these tweets is not the intended victim. It's not Jeff Sessions. It's not Michael Horowitz, the IG at the Department of Justice. It's the president who has now put himself in a place where he, 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 he looks like, he's, like he is... Uh, at mistreating one of his own nominees. You're right. If he wanted to get rid of him, call him in and say, I think it's time for you to go. And he's putting himself in a place where we can have an ugly confirmation fight in the, as, in the run-up to Carl, a, a midterm election that, where his right? future must, is at he, risk. He's a student up to know that if you play this out, that's exactly what happened. Sessions leaves I don't, and you fire I'm him. not certain he thought about that. Really? I am not certain he wow. thought about that. If, if, he, if, 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 if he did, if he thought that out, then I, then I think he'd say, you know what, if I want Jeff Sessions to go, maybe I'd invite him over and say, Jeff, it's time for you to go rather than doing this. And, and even then, again, if Sessions goes, no matter whether it's because of a tweet or because of a personal conversation with the president, that, re, that will generate a confirmation battle between now and the November elections that is not going to be helpful to the president and his administration and to his goals. The more we talk about things like this, the less we're talking about tax cuts and regulatory Bingo. reform exactly and right. energy policy and strong military. And the very and issues to that back. point, Carl, the very issues that the president wants to focus on, and he has a lot of good sound issues and a lot of good prescriptions of them they're lost in his own ranting raving sauce here he and he is just showing no regard for that and i think that it no. will do great peril to him great peril to his agenda great peril to people who want to work with him but are increasingly afraid to work with him and frankly i can't blame them yeah. Look, if you want to be successful as president, you got to step back, be the adult, absorb some of these little blows and keep focused on the big things. And the big thing is not to attack the inspector general as, quote, an Obama guy. It's to hope that he continues to do what he has done, which is doing his job in a nonpartisan way and let the chips fall You're where right. they may. Do you think an Obama guy, quote, an Obama guy would have sat there and said, oh, yeah, I'm going to reflect badly on the guy who was involved in the Hillary Clinton investigation and, and end his career by telling Robert Mueller that Peter Sorsak uh, did, did inappropriate things and needs to be immediately removed from his position in, in the investigation of Donald Trump. Incredible. That was Michael Horowitz who led to that. And the president has attacked him, his own attorney general, and given the Democrats every opportunity if Sessions resigns to, to, uh, to, to make life difficult for President Trump. And if Jeff Sessions appoints anybody to investigate this other than Michael Horowitz, to give the Democrats every ability to go to the American people and say, oh, look, the president is using his power as president to have a partisan witch hunt, uh, you know, dismiss this, ignore it. And, and all of it is so distracting from the, what the president is attempting to do. He's got big things to do. This is, these are little things. Yeah, you know, that old notion, you know, uh, the, the danger of no unspoken thought is sometimes they lead to uh, unspeakable results. Uh, Carl, right. thank you very much, my friend. You bet. Thank you, Neil.